I'm about to interview James Mangold, uh, Ford vs. Ferrari. All right. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Um, my question of the night is, when I watched Ford vs. Ferrari, I didn't see any... Uh, I, I thought it was all practical effects. Well, the cars were. I mean, our goal making the film was very much to uh, avoid the kind of uh, hype crazy uh, CG car action that you we've almost gotten accustomed to and do something for real analog um, obviously though we're at racetracks with um, 40,000 people in the stands and I can't afford to shoot for a month putting 40,000 extras in the stands so there's visual effects at work but the cars the cars are real and and it makes a big difference you know it, it there's things you still can't do um, uh, there's there's when you make a movie and, and your action is real, you, um, the vibrations, the particulates in the air, the way the light is moving on your actors, the way, I mean, it's real, you know, and there's, and, and it's even imperfect. And I think even audiences sense that reality, that pushback of nature, where the shots aren't perfect, where it feels electric because it feels like it's happening. The one thing that happens, you know, having made movies that rely a lot on, on, uh, CG effects is that the struggle is always that because you can make the world completely in your computer, you can make the world perfect and the world isn't perfect. And so you can always see, you know, you're always trying to create not only the visual effect when you're doing it digitally, but you have to create the imperfection or the, you have to try and engineer the compromise into the shot to make it feel more real, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. When you were making Ford with Ferrari, did you feel like you're making this, like, to me, by the way, big car fan, it's total mass. Damon and Bale were so on point. Were you feeling it when you are sh shooting sure, it? Sure, sure. You know when your actors are on fire. And you, it was a great cast top to bottom on the movie. And, um, and, and with a, a movie like this, it's so much about friendship and, and the connection between these drivers and the pit crew and everyone else associated with the race. Um, that chemistry is everything. And yeah, you do feel it on set. My last question is this. When you have a story with a dialogue and then you have to also put in this action back and forth stuff, is it hard to make, it's almost like making two movies. Is it hard well, to make both? Like I like to think of it more like you're a conductor and you have your oboes and you have your perk and you have your strings and you have your brass. And that part of what makes a movie exciting is that you have all these elements braiding together. If you just have people talking, then you just have a movie of people talking. And if you just have racing, then you just have that. But that, I, and and one of the reasons, you know, a lot of people have been really kind and complimentary about the action in our movie. And one of the things I think is that the action's really good. But but I think part of the reason people feel it's so dynamic is because they love the characters. Because we took the time for you to know them as human beings. And, and that therefore when they're in peril, when they're almost winning, when it looks like they're gonna lose, you feel it because you give a damn about them. People aren't being kind and complimentary. It was an awesome film. Thank you so okay. much, Fernando. Appreciate it. Thank you, it. thank you. All right.